I got this little circle bed right here. I gotta make sure I keep those separate from the other ones because this is a little different. These are shallots that I've been growing for, I don't know, six, seven years now. And surrounding the bed, I've got these shallots that I bought from the store. Roar box. That's a Right here are the ones that I grew for a while. I grew a lot more shallots this year than I have in the past. The difference between the shallots and the potato onions aren't really very much. There are some subtle flavoring differences. Maybe the potato onions are a little stronger. Okay, some of these are skirt that came up by seed and those I'm going to be careful to dig out and I'm going to transplant them. I'm going to see how well they transplant in the summer. They are pretty tough otherwise. These shallots that were growing in amongst the skirt did not do very well. Too much shade. So the real, very small shallots and the very largest shallots I'm going to eat, and then the medium ones are the ones that I'm interested in propagating. I don't, I don't believe I'm ever going to get a situation where they're all just mediums, but those are the ones I want to keep. I think they store the longest. That's the reason why you want to grow shallots, is not just for flavor, but because they will store for a long time. My hail shield isn't completely done yet. i got to put some posts here and it'll lift it up a little bit. <laughs> so here is the shallot take of the day. Look at that. Pretty nice. I'd say I got the average was uh, there were actually three bulbs. So what happens is is you save one bulb and you eat two. That's your yield. Here we are with our shallots and potato onions and elephant garlic and garlic, hard neck garlic, all hanging in the shed. This is how I dry them, harden them off, get them ready for storage. Some nice elephant garlic right here. Some elephant garlic here too. These are potato onions. This is some gray shallot. Something supposed to be special. We'll find out. I haven't eaten any yet. More shallots. Here's hard neck garlic. This is a shallot that I bought from a local nursery. Prolific. A lot of fives. One bulb divided into five. That's a shallot that I've been bringing through for the last five or six years. There's some more hardneck garlic. I've got more hardneck garlic left yet to harvest, but I'm letting it go to seed. So uh, we'll see if it gets to seed fast enough so that the, that can be added to the lineup. I don't know, we'll see what happens.